Hello guys, Soft Tony here and in today's tutorial we will be creating a cool looking text animation here in After Effects step by step. Before we start, make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials. And without any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and start creating this cool text animation. Alright, we're here in After Effects and first like always let's create a new composition, hit on this little icon or control or command plus N to create new composition, this is gonna be final like usual and for the width and height 90, 20 by 10, 80, 30 frames per second and duration it's pretty much up to you, I will leave to around 10 seconds, hit ok and now let's create our solid layer, go right click to create new solid layer, find here solid and let's type background, also 90, 20 by 10, 80 and then hit ok. Now go here in the facts and preset and if you can't find this option just go window and you will find effects and presets here. And let's type here for color gradient, find it here on generate and just drag and drop onto our background solid layer. For the first and fourth color let's change to blue color, you can use eyedropper here for the first color and for this third color I will change maybe to this uh, red color, hit ok and for the second color I will use this type of orange color. Hit OK, of course you can play around with your own colors, but those are looking good to me. Ok, now let's close this effects control for now, I will just hit Ctrl plus D on this background solid layer or go edit and then duplicate, this second one is gonna be ball action, ok, go here in the effects and preset again and find CC ball action, drag and drop onto this first solid layer and let's also delete this four color gradient. And let's add fill effect here in the facts and preset, type fill, drag and drop above this ball action effect, change color to white, hit ok, and for the grid spacing and ball sides let's type 10. Now as you can see we have this cool looking white dots here in the final composition. Ok, now let's duplicate this ball action once again, hit ctrl plus D, ok, and go in the facts and preset again, find fractal noise effect, Ok, drag and drop onto the ball action 2 and for the fractal noise let's make further adjustments for the contrast instead of 100 type 800, ok and now let's animate the evolution option, hold alt on your keyboard and just hit on this little stopwatch and let's type here time asterisk 200, ok I will close this ball action 2 for now, hit 0 and as you can see we have this cool looking dots movement in the final composition. This is looking cool, I will close this one again and let's create now first adjustment layer, go right click to create new adjustment layer, this is gonna be light sweep, ok, go in effects and preset, find light sweep effect, drag and drop onto the adjustment layer and here let's also make further adjustments for the edge thickness and edge intensity type 0, for the direction type minus 62, Ok, and for the center let's try minus 85 and for this Y parameter let's type 15. And now as you can see we have this cool looking light sweep line that is expanding all the way from the left to the right, ok. And also for the width let's type 195 and this is looking cool, maybe 185, this may be too much and this is looking awesome. Now it's time to create our text, hit Ctrl plus T or hit on this uh, little icon, I'm using this Bebas Noi font and let's type our text, I will just type easy to create, of course you will type your own text, align it to the center, somewhere around here and if you can find align option just go window and you will find aligned here. Ok now let's animate this text, go here at 0 frames. Hit P for position, set up the first keyframe here at 0 frames and then go to around 1 second and move this text slightly to the left or to the right side, I will go maybe somewhere around here, ok. Now grab both of our keyframes, hit F9 or go right click keyframe assistance and select this option easy ease. And now when we hit 0 we have this basic move of our easy to create text. Now let's also add expression to our easy to create text, hold alt on your keyboard and then hit on this little stopwatch for the position and let's type loop out, 
open and close bracket parentheses and then just type here ping pong okay hit zero again in the finals and now we have this looping animation of our easy to create text okay for the next step let's duplicate this easy to create text hit ctrl plus d and then hit u to show all of the keyframes grab the keyframes and just move them five frames ahead somewhere around here hit ctrl plus d once again this is going to be easy to create tree hit u to show all of the keyframes again and for this one move this 10 frames ahead if you want you can duplicate once again hit ctrl plus d hit u repeat the process and for this one move somewhere around 15 frames ahead like this okay and just grab this first text easy to create move all the way to the top okay select two three and four and go here in the effects and preset find fill effect and just double click to apply on all of them and for this second one let's leave it to this red color for this third text let's change maybe to this orange play around with the colors and for this fourth one let's change to maybe this blue one hit ok and now when we hit zero in the finals we have this really cool and really awesome easy to create text animation in the final composition okay now it's time to pre-compose our text select them and then go right click pre-compose this is gonna be text plus elements hit ok hit p for position and just move it slightly to the left somewhere around here to center it okay and then hit ctrl plus d once again and for this lower one let's rename this one to shadows okay go into facts and preset find fill effect drag and drop onto the shadows composition change color to black color and let's add cc radial fast blur drag and drop onto the shadows and here basically you can play around with all of the options for the center let's go somewhere around here amount let's type maybe 88 you can also hit t for opacity if you want let's go somewhere around 60 percent and now as you can see we have cool looking shadows here in our final composition this is with and this is without our shadows composition and this is looking cool okay now it's time to create another adjustment layer go right click to create new adjustment layer this is going to be lens flare okay go here in the facts and preset find lens flare effect drag and drop onto the adjustment layer for this first one let's play around maybe somewhere around here okay let's duplicate this adjustment layer hit ctrl plus d this second one let's go somewhere around here and let's change lens type from this first option to this 35 millimeters prime and you can also duplicate this one and this is looking awesome just play around if you're not satisfied just delete let's also animate this maybe second lens flare go here at zero frames and for the flare center set up the first keyframe go all the way to the 10 seconds or so and just reposition our lens flare to somewhere around here now when we hit zero we have this cool looking easy to create text with our lens flare you can also animate this first lens flare set up the first keyframe for flare center also here at zero frames go somewhere around 10 seconds and let's also reposition to the opposite side and now when we hit zero we have these two cool looking lens flares and our scene is looking awesome play around with those options you can also add more adjustment layers to add curves light wipe and so many more effects all right guys uh, that was everything for today's tutorial hope you learned something new in this one like always if you haven't subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button also take a look on my channel for even more great tutorials like this one if you found this video helpful hit the like button and also turn on the notification bell so you never miss any of my upcoming video tutorials and until next time stay creative and bye bye